What's going on everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today is Corona Day. Getting ready for Thanksgiving, man. It's coming up. Look, I'm going to tell you guys, in my opinion, I think a deep fried turkey is the only way to cook a turkey, but you can broil it. I'm sure you can bake it. You could probably boil it if you really wanted to, but cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're getting ready to enjoy Thanksgiving with your family and loved ones. Getting into today's topic, got some foam build up here. Where'd you learn how to drive? Oh my God, man, we have a guy at work. Maybe he was having an off day, maybe a very bad day. But you guys know about my Volkswagen Jetta, AKA the princess wagon, right? Cause I've taken Reagan everywhere with me. We do things together. It's pretty much me carriaging her off into the sunset, doing different things with each other. That's just what we do. <laughs> and we have a kick-ass time of it, but on this unglorious day, some two days ago, I think it was uh, Monday or Tuesday, Joey comes in and he, he's airing up his tires. He goes to back up at the parking spot and yeah, no joke. Take a look at the video clip. It's so bad. It's so bad. The picture doesn't even do it justice. It did get the door too. Look at this. See, there's the lighting. So bad. And look. It was so bad. So bad. I'm sure you guys heard me. I had to have it appraised. We had to have a, a local body shop check it out. He called his insurance company. He's going to get into it, get it fixed and handled for me. But he was backing up into the spot. No radio, nothing, nothing blazing, and just completely destroyed the whole front quarter panel. So now I got to get this whole thing fixed and done, and I was like, well, <laughs> this has just been my year, you know what I mean? <laughs> if it's just one thing after the next, after the next, after the next, and then wouldn't you know it, psh, tragedy strikes, right? I wasn't even really mad about it because you know shit happens, but he joked about it so much, I thoroughly thought he was joking with me until about the fourth or fifth time when I was like, no you didn't, no you didn't. He's like, I did, and I was like, no you didn't. But he did, and it was it was pretty bad, man. And uh, you know, the only thing I could say is at least it happened at work, and at least it was him that did it because I had gotten hit before in a grocery store, came out, no no, no nothing, Damage on my uh, rear fender, nothing I can do about it at that point except for drive on and hope that one day I'd have cash to have somebody fix it. I'm not going to call up the insurance company, try to jack up my rates to have a little fender bender that cost me a couple hundred bucks to have somebody fixed. It's kind of like pulling teeth to me. If my tooth's so jacked up it's going to cost me $1,500 for a root canal or I can pay the man 200 bucks to yank it, I'm going to have him yank it. And that's why I'm missing most of the teeth on my upper jaw. <laughs> but look, that's just me. You might have a different approach. Don't get me started on medical or dental insurance at this point. We're not getting into it. All I can tell you is dental insurance is not worth what it is that you're planning on paying for it, which is why I've never really carried it unless I was on active duty. That being said, guys, that's going to wrap up this short video for today. Thanks as always for watching. Look, if you're that guy and you can't look over your shoulder to make sure you're not going to ram into your coworker or your buddy's car, maybe you should practice a little bit more on the weekend on how to park or something. I don't know. <laughs> Joey, if you're watching, I'm just fucking with you. Look, you know I love you, but seriously, man, what the fuck? <laughs> That's all I got for this video. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. And this is...